guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited guys to be back with another video this year happy 2023 guys i hope your vision boards come alive i hope your new year resolutions come alive this year it's a new dawn you get me <laughs> i know a lot of us i've seen well I know, I, I've, I've seen a lot of us really had a really rough year. 22, 2022 was really rough for the most of us, you know. So I hope, guys, like, I hope 2023 brings in forth fruits, harvest, and everything that you ever want for this year. So, guys, thank you so much for my returning subscribers. Thank you for being my dear ones. Thank you for um, staying and not leaving the channel because there was no content for the past two months. And also for my returning viewers, like if you're watching this video now and you've been, been a returning viewer, what are you waiting for? Join the club, join the family, you know? <laughs> and yes, guys, just to welcome you guys back again, um, for the new viewers, this is a channel where I discuss everything I talk about and pack about my spiritual journey with God, the, the lows, the highs and everything in between so thank you so much for watching please 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 subscribe anywho so guys i wanted to unpack and uh, and the title of this video is life lately um one of i saw one of the comments i think it's um uh, one of uh, my subscribers um she commented on my previous video where i was going through the most where well, I was going through the go whoa. <laughs> and she said, no, Tipi, we need an update on where you are now, you know, spiritually and everything because the last video will not say okay. So guys, yes, the last video I was not okay. Um, I was going through some things, you know, like I'm a person that if I'm being honest with you guys, I do believe that I'm in a season, a certain season, and I believe that I'm in a season of waiting however long this season is but i believe that i'm in that season the season that i've talked to god about that i understand that i'm in and as much as sometimes it's not easy to be in a season but it's also very important to be in that particular season because god knows exactly why he's doing that why he's doing what he's doing that is why he says when the time is right i the lord will make it happen because he knows he knows why at that particular time he wants you to go through a certain refining or a certain process for you to go through we've seen it uh so many times in the bible with david where david started being a shepherd first and then after being a shepherd then um he became he played like he became a servant for Saul. And then before he became, he, I mean, not servant, he served Saul. And then after that, he became a soldier for Saul. And then after that, um, Saul tried to kill him. And then eventually he became the king, you know, like he went through so much transition and so much season, so many seasons before he became a king. And we know also with the story of um, Joseph, where Joseph became a slave, his, his brother sold him to be a slave and then after that he became a prisoner and after that he became like a governor of egypt you know like it's all like it always carries out through and there's a reason why god always want us to be in certain seasons because those seasons um refine our character those seasons uh prune us those seasons processes us so that when we get to the seasons or the destination that what god says when the time is right then he knows that Tiffy or Mpo is capable of being able to receive what I have planned for her life, you know. Because if sometimes if certain things come before you before you're ready, then those things might destroy you or might hurt you or whatever the case might be, you know. So and that was that for me. I've always understood that. I always knew and I I think I'm a firm believer on seasons, you know, but for some reason last year, I went through something else. Like I went through, like I detoured in my season, like I detoured in my waiting, I detoured in my belief, I detoured in my faith. Um, I don't think I didn't have faith in God, but I just didn't anymore believe that um, this whole thing, this journey that I'm doing with the YouTube, with the blog, that maybe i didn't hear god well you know 
and i still believe that maybe there was there was, there was a point in joseph's story because joseph told his brothers that nah i'm going to be something big you know so you can imagine now you're a slave you're being sold to be a slave now you're in prison you know like i can imagine the, the, the like the, i think there was a point was like ah maybe that dream wasn't I, it wasn't the one yeah maybe that dream mm -mm. maybe i was dreaming something else maybe i interpreted the dream wrong you know so i think maybe i went through that phase in my waiting where i was like nah god and i think um for me it, it, in that situation where i detoured a bit in my in my doubt with what i think i've been called for was that um i think it was also a situation where you know feelings and emotions guys you know they they um they can be the death of you like the death especially when you're a child of god and when you are a christian and when you're uh intentionally working with christ then if you forget feelings and emotions inside then you're going down you know <laughs> so for me i think when i got into youtube um i think blogging was my comfort and youtube was not my comfort you know and i got to youtube where i feel like maybe it's a little bit saturated right now and it's really hard like youtube is hard guys especially for people like us who don't have like a huge media, social media presence we you question yourself also with your craft like you question the way you speak english like there's so many things that like you doubt yourself like ah girl you're not cut up for this you know and i think also sometimes comparing yourself to certain people you know and i just want to say when you do when 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 you dwell on those things when you now focus on people when now it's about the ego it's not about christ anymore like tp you are not doing this for the people you're not doing this to be famous you're not doing this to be something you know like an influencer you're doing this because you are called to do this you're doing this even if you're speaking to two people even if you're speaking to three people as long as there are three people that you're talking to and you're using your platform to preach about christ for someone to learn about your journey it's enough you know it's enough just trust the process you know and uh, i believed in that so much until at some point i started now feeling small feeling like i'm a failure feeling all these certain feelings and that's when i should have known that something is wrong for me spiritually you know i think there right there that was that was supposed to be an indication for me to say tiffy something is not going right you know and i believe that um it was because of the fact that spiritually i was not okay you know like i was not um i was falling behind in what I, I i loved doing like like it was just a lot for me you know and i was just going through so many emotions and i think for me there was an indication to say tiffy something is not right spiritually there's something that you're not doing that you are you're used to doing or in short like and you need to um keep your house in order i think for me there was an indication that my spiritual uh rather or my spiritual gauge is very 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 low and i need to recharge my back myself myself back you know just like this other scripture in psalm 42 that talks about a deer that is thirsty for the streams of water and that is how thirsty i was and i remember there's a uh, a pastor that that um articulated it so well and expanded that scripture so well and that this, the pastor said that when a deer is very thirsty like when a deer is thirsty it runs and plunges itself into the streams of water and it immerses itself in the streams of water because when a deer is thirsty most of the time it loses its eyesight it loses its strength like the body the muscles cannot carry the body anymore so it means when you lose your sight you don't know where you're going you can't see where you're going and when you lose the strength to walk then it means your body cannot carry you in your journey anymore you know um so for me uh that was also it's always an indication for me when i can't see clearly uh when i can't see clearly when um my faith is depleted when i feel like I'm, I'm tired then i know i know that spiritually that i'm not okay and i think that um 
it was that video was an indication for me to say tiffy you need to go back to your drawing board you need to immerse yourself in the uh, with god you need to immerse yourself in the presence of of, of the father and get back to the basics again you know and um i'm so happy guys that um that video happened and that was an indication for me that i'm not okay that i need to start believing in my season again and believe that when the time is right the lord will make it happen god says that for a reason because he knows that we need this process we need certain seasons in our lives so that we can become what he has um plan for us he says that he knows the plans he has for us plans to prosper us and uh plans to give us a hope in a good future and he is still the god and i think there's something that someone said um i think it's jackie hill perry where she said that the reason why sometimes we lose we lose hope in god and we lose faith in god is because we don't understand who god is if we understand who god is and the type of god that we love and pray and the type of god that rules over the heavens and earth then there was no reason there's no reason for us to even lose hope because he is a god that never turns away from what he said he will do you know so thank you guys for watching i'm so excited for this new year i hope it brings everything that i've hoped for for this channel also i hope we have a beautiful journey this year together okay <laughs> so remember to subscribe guys I love you guys so much. Bye.